Hi, hello, well, it's, it's, um, it will be a quick demo of uh, SRM and uh, uh, questions and uh, well. So, so the idea is uh, very simple. It will be to create a um, service request, uh, a very basic service request. I won't create it from, I mean, AOT, uh, SAD, PDT, and so on. Uh, we'll do something very, uh, very easy. I will just create uh, the multi uh, I mean, the multi questions. So we'll just I will just create a service request from the start, and I will use the standard SRD. Um, so TR coffee. Uh, okay, this is okay. It's standard. Uh, we'll create, we'll select a process template like a very default one. Um, incident. Okay. No approval. Okay. So we begin by saving the service request and then we'll do the questions and mappings. So the idea is very simple, <coughs> is to ask uh, someone in a coffee shop uh, if you want tea or coffee. So let's ask the question. So the first question is uh, what is your first name? Another one is, uh, what is your last name? And another one is uh, the question we are interested in, um, tea or coffee? So the format of the question will be, for example, I don't know, a menu, a static menu, because we have only two values. T or coffee. So there are two values, the T uh, mean displayed or stored. The displayed value is the value that will be displayed for the user to select. And the stored value is the value that will be stored internally by, um, by Remedy. So, well. For example, um, in case if you have uh, several languages like French and so on, French, English, Spanish, uh, you can have like uh, T uh, in English, T in français, and some of the uh, values, coffee, café, and stuff like this. I'm not sure coffee was written like this. Um, anyway, so, uh, but the internal value will be the same. So the good thing is that you can have uh, diff several different values, for example, depending on the locales, but the stored value will always be the same. And coffee works this way. And in my coffee morning. So, um, you got your question. So, tea or coffee. And you, uh, you, will ask, uh, you will have several uh, set of questions, depending if the user asks tea or coffee. So you will add a condition then, and the condition is uh, about the value that is before, so T or coffee. So as you can see, it's uh, a branch where is the T and branch where is the coffee. So we'll begin by the T, and you can see here that condition is the T now. So you click on the branch, and you ask uh, a question. So uh, do you want some milk? Uh, 
So it can be like a radio button. Can I press oh yes? Oh. There no. Apply. Another question. Since you want some tea, do you want uh, some cucumber? Uh, oops. You can put, uh, for example, here I will say that uh, yes is a default. Uh, okay. So, oh, it was right the first time. Okay, so anyway, that, uh, the, the question will appear if you select uh, tea. And uh, let's see what happens when you select uh, coffee. So, I have a new condition. This time I say coffee. And this time, um, do you want your coffee black or with milk? So with the menu, I will say black. Um, with milk. For example here, I will put a different store value. So the value is black, black. Okay, so here we have got uh, two branches. Um, so we'll ask, uh, we'll add the question after, how many sugar do you want? And here I will put like a uh, range. Uh, minimum is like uh, 0 to 10 so minimum is uh, 0 and max is 10 and the default is uh, 2 because we have a sweet tooth and uh, that's pretty much all uh, I won't talk about the variable mapping because we don't have any variable in the, the standard request so it's just to show the the branches. So if you select your T, you should have two uh, question, and if you select coffee, you should have another one. So let's see if it works. Uh, request for program. It's online. So let's launch on tea coffee. So as you can see, I got uh, the question, what is your first name, last name, tea or coffee, and the sugars. But I don't have the other question, so my name is uh, James Bond. Uh, like uh, five sugars. And I'd like some tea. And as you can see, uh, you've got the, as soon as I selected tea, you've got your two questions that were related to tea. That was depending on the result of the question. So do I do I want some milk? Do I want cucumber cake? If I select coffee, 
you will see that uh, this time I got the question that depended on the coffee part. So black or with milk. So that's pretty much all because it's uh, it's pretty very simple to do. Uh, if you want to alter everything, question the mapping, you need to take it offline because it's uh, you cannot change the question while it's uh, online. So you need to be careful because you cannot branch everything you want. For example, here you can see that the question is a uh, text and you cannot put add condition on it but so you can do it on the menu here it is another menu so it when you can add a condition on this here it's a radio button you can see that you add the con you can add the condition on the radio button it works and uh, uh, you cannot add the condition on the range so you need to be careful when you want to branch exactly what uh, you just need to prepare on what type of the question is uh, before and so on. That's all. So that was a, um, a quick overview of how to do it. It's quite simple. And uh, well, that's pretty much all. So, bye bye.